day five of Indian Wells. Just keeps getting better and better. Pleased to be joined by Rancho Mirage's very own 760, Desiree Krawcheck, four-time mixed doubles Grand Slam champion, seven-time winner on the WTA Tour. Des, great to see you. Nice we were just talking off-air on how wonderful it is to be back here at home. First things first, how does it feel to be back home? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's well, the sun's not out yet, but it's nice to be back here and it's just amazing. Yeah, I really love it. And I remember when I first met you too and you were explaining to me that you've really seen the progression of this tournament. You were a ball kid here once, yes. sending me pictures of when you were next to Nadal just growing <laughs> up in this tournament. What's it like for you, just a, a kid loving tennis, now being here, being seated in the draw? Playing yeah. tennis. It's, uh, you know, he comes back full circle. I was just telling, you know, someone else that, you know, I used to sneak into the stringers to try and get, you know, a view of the players warming up here and on the grass field. And it's just, uh, it's crazy. And to be playing here and, you know, to get a match into your belt, you know, there's a lot of stress that comes back playing on your home turf, you know, and right. it's just not, you want to win, you want to, you know, do well here. But, uh, you know, I was happy to get the win yesterday. So yeah. any specific young memories come to mind of, of Indian <laughs> Wells when you think of it? I mean, ball kidding, of course, you know, coming here, s skipping school for two weeks is great. Uh, <laughs> But no, just being around the pros and just seeing everyone, you know, I was just, like I said, I saw my Spanish teachers here from high school and my algebra teacher and people that I've grown up with and, you know, teammates and everyone from high school. It's just, it's crazy, but it was just so nice to see everyone come out and support. Where do you feel your game is at right now? How are you feeling coming into the tournament and how big is getting that first round under your belt? Yeah, the first round, you know, it was a tough first round. We played, you know, some great players and we, I think we had a good energy yesterday and we, you know, we played pretty solid for the most part. We had some chances to break back at them and, you know, we didn't have them, but uh, yeah, I think we came out with good energy and we played really well to win that match and I'm super relieved to get through that match. Let's talk about mixed doubles. I'm, I'm fascinated with mixed doubles, just uh, an aspect of tennis that you don't see in juniors or no. you're growing up playing. How did you first get involved playing mixed? Whoa. Well, there was actually one tournament in uh, the juniors that we played. It was mixed doubles and you just signed in and you hoped to get in. We actually won that event. <laughs> now that I think about it, um, it was like 16s or 18s. Uh, but in the slams, there's only you only get to play mixed in the slams. Right. So you, it's based off ranking and it's the top rankings and it's 32 draw. So, you know, it's whatever you guys can get in. You want to try and get in with whoever you can and, you know, and that's, you win some slams and there you go. <laughs> well, it won some slams. How about back-to-back -back Wimbledon titles, yeah. the French Open and the US, the Australian, the only one missing yep. from the trophy case. Do we have a trophy case at home? Can we report that? I have a trophy display, so when you okay. walk in, you see it. But it's kind of a nice reminder because you know, it just you go from tournament to tournament, and to come back home and you really, you know, appreciate. You're like, wow, actually, you know, you appreciate those wins. And no, it's actually nice. <laughs> nice to see. I think one of the beauties of the sport of tennis too is the global perspective. Getting to travel all across the world to play tennis. I'm a little bit jealous. I remember talking to you at Wimbledon too, and even mentioned that you got to go take a few days off and go see Hamilton yes. with your boyfriend. How special is it just being able to travel the world playing the sport you love? No, we are very spoiled. I think you know some of us. You have to sit, take a step back and you know really realize, wow, you get to go to amazing places like Rome. Australia, Wimbledon, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And to play at all these events, coming back here, it's just, there's no complaints here. So, you know, it's a great tournament. It's fits Grand Slam, as everyone says, and it's just amazing. I mean, it's, it's a good life. <laughs> What's keeping you motivated? What's keeping you on the tennis court, continuing to pursue what? I just love to compete. I love being out there, you know, I love the competition. I love, you know, trying to prove myself better every single day and you know I try sometimes I practice you know it's kind of tough and I am hard on myself but I just keep pushing through it and you know I have strived to to want more anything that comes to mind uh, in terms of uh, a mentor in your life or someone that maybe said something to you one time that you reflect on whether it was tennis or just in life well, I think there's many people, you know, you pick and choose, but I think just a lot of people just say, enjoy the ride, you know, you don't get to do this for a long time, and, you know, I'm 29, so I don't know how many years I have left, but hopefully a few, and I, you know, just want to enjoy it and keep, you know, getting better every single week, and, you know, I want to win a slam and women's double, so I'm going for that. 
is is that the goal? Uh, is there a goal set in mind where you do want to become a doubles champion, Grand Slam doubles champion on the mixed and women's side? Yeah, of course. You know, to win, to get my foot, you know, wet a little bit and win the mixed slams. Semifinals. Uh, yes, and you were there. Semifinals. I was in the finals of French. Yeah, no, it's mm -hmm. you know, you just want that extra push and to know that I can be there is just a good stepping stone. And you know, of course, you have little goals like to get top five, okay? You wanna to get to top, you know, be number one in the world and also win the slam. So it just comes with, you know, practice and progress. Finally, let's have a little fun here. Let's do a quick little rapid fire about the area. We did this last year, but we're gonna do a little bit different Co Coachella style this time. Okay. Have you been to Coachella? No. Stagecoach, yes. Stagecoach, but yes, Coachella. also during, you know, the time of when we're in Europe, yeah, you, so you it's you kind of have a job to, yeah, to do at times. Yeah, it's if you time. were to go to Coachella, one person, ATP, WTA, that you'd bring along with you? Oh, my best friend, Juliana Almost. Yeah, <laughs> yes. easy? Yes. <laughs> to both stagecoach and Coachella, doesn't matter? She's a, um, she can vibe at both? Actually, I think I'd bring Jess Wool to stagecoach. Juju I'd bring to Coachella. She's more of that vibe. More yeah. that vibe? Yes. Okay. How about somebody uh, to go up to Joshua Tree? Somebody on tour you want to bring up there, hike around. Ooh. Someone's got that's got some stamina. Oh, I don't know anyone that's you know willing to go up on a hike with me. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> whoever. <laughs> How about somebody on on tour, past or present, that you'd love to play doubles with? Nadal, of course. <laughs> I know she loves Nadal. I just he's just so nice, like. He's just so genuine and like, it's just, oh my gosh. And it's gonna matter. <laughs> and he's just, and he's not gonna be here for much longer. So, you know, right. every time we see him, I'm like, oh my God, Nadal. <laughs> well, Des, we appreciate the time. Uh, Desiree Krawcheck, four time Grand Slam champion, looking for a great run here at Indian Wells. We appreciate the time and good luck the next two weeks. Thank you so much.